Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this Leopard Santa Split Tumbler. Everything I used will be listed in the description box down below. Let's get started. All right, y'all, I'm using the 24 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia today. You guys already know this is my favorite size to work with. And I went ahead and used the print and cut feature for my silhouette program so that I could um, make sure that this was the right size all the way around because I knew I wanted to cut around it. And so the lines that my silhouette cut were like perfect for me to just use my scissors and cut around it. So of course I did cut off a little bit of the backing here just to adhere it to make sure that this was going to wrap all the way around the tumbler um, the right way. And of course I'm using Cricut printable vinyl here. So um, once we go into our first layer of epoxy after this, we are not going to need to seal this whatsoever. Now I did add a glitter additive into my epoxy. It's called Santa's Beard from Woody's Goodies. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but I really wanted some sparkle um, on my top piece and it just worked out perfect. So I'm gonna tape off um, where the line is and I'm gonna saran wrap it. And I'm gonna spray paint the bottom with Rust-Oleum uh, Metallic Gold. Now I'm not gonna let this dry I'm not gonna use Mod Podge and I'm not going to use Epoxy Method. I have fallen in love with the wet spray paint method. So as soon as I am done spray painting this, I will go in and just glitter right on top of this wet spray paint. It saves so much time. There's no hassle or anything like that. Of course, once this is glittered, I wait 15 minutes and then I will spray this two times with Rust-Oleum, two times clear gloss, waiting 15 minutes in between each before I go in and I epoxy this tumbler. Now, this tumbler to seal actually took two coats of epoxy before we were ready to move on to our vinyling. I mean, look at how pretty that is. So now that we have two coats of epoxy on here, we're gonna go in with our vinyling. I used um, Oracal 631 gold vinyl because I actually ran out of textured gold. Um, if you have the textured gold vinyl, that would look even better on this tumbler. Of course, I didn't have any, so I went with the regular gold. And I just put it um, in the back where my seam was. I know that you can't see the seam on camera, but you can definitely see the seam in person. It's not terrible, um, but you can see it. So I wanted my seams to match up. I just went ahead and went around. I'm not pulling my vinyl here because I don't want my vinyl to stretch. I want my vinyl to go on um, very smooth because I had originally put the pink uh, strip down the middle of the gold here and then once I was looking at it I was like I don't really like that so I did end up taking my pink strip off and it worked out great of course I forgot to completely film my sanding process I did sand both the top and the bottom rim before putting this vinyl on um, but yeah this cup was so easy and so like amazing to make. I just, I saw this print on Etsy and I just, I had to do something with it because you guys, leopard and pink and Santa, all for it. This tumbler took one final coat of CC DIY's artist resin and she was completely done. I love how simple and elegant this is for the holiday season. If you do try out this tutorial, please tag me on social media at Kelsey Scruggs Boutique. I would love to see your amazing designs. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.